Hey everybody, what is going on? It is your boy is a 33 welcoming you to a Pokemon tin opening here with Pokemon Celebrations. We have the Dark Sylveon box to open, tin, whatever. And this is going to be quite a lot of fun because I just keep seeing celebration things coming into this one shop and it's every time completely different to actually what else and sadly there wasn't the, the Lance's Charizard which I wanted that tin was unavailable but instead we got the Sylveon one which is obviously pretty nice a uh, Sylveon Dark Sylveon V is the name of the game. Let's just show you that. Pretty nice looking card overall, full art, and I like it, honestly. Maybe you guys will like it too. Here you go in terms of the code for the Dark Sylveon V. That can go over there. And from what I know in this box, there's four celebrations and two Normie packs one, two, three, and four celebrations. They can go down here. We've got a battle styles and a vivid voltage. So let's do it in this sort of way. We'll start with the battle styles and then we'll do two celebrations. And then from there, we'll do a vivid voltage. And then the last two celebrations. Because celebration packs are what we're here for. Let's be honest. Battle Styles, newer of the two other packs. We've also got Fusion Strike coming out this week. And I'm actually surprised, to be honest. Because you don't actually... Unless you're obviously opening packs like I am. You don't actually realise... How many different sets they release in such a short period because they're currently getting through a lot of the last of the Sword and Shield packs before we head back to Brilliant or well, head to Brilliant Diamond and Pearl. And obviously, that is going to be fun with a fire energy on the front. Psychic. So, yeah, that's going to be fun, obviously, to look at. And we may get some Gallade or Gardevoir cards coming into the actual set. That'll be nice for me. And I'm not saying the names of the cards, but Roller Collie's there. Frillish, Esper, Diplug. Our reverse is a Luxio, speaking of Diamond Pearl Pokemon. And our rare is a Primeape. Okay, so not the best opening pack per se. So let's just get some celebrations underway. I like celebrations a lot. And I do want for myself the Gardevoir card. That little Gardy go grrr. If I get it in this box, I will be happy and I will never buy celebrations again. <laughs> let's just be honest. I like Gardevoir as a card. And yeah... We'll just uh, flip this to the front. There you go. Your cared card. And let's look through it. So we'll kick it off with Xerneas. Ground on our Celebration Fave. Palkia. And for our rare, Yulana. That's a pretty poor pack, let's be honest. To kick off our Celebrations. Put that down. Let's get to our second celebrations pack. Normally, I'm expecting something big in the fourth slot of these packs. Because that's where they usually are. It's where you get your flying Pikachus. Or what have you. The ga- Ah, uh, the ga- Buzz. Yep. Uh, well, I think I know what we're getting. Because I accidentally showed it. <laughs> There you go, your code card. Xerneas again. Ho Ho again. Imposter Professor Oak. 
and Sol Galio. That is a nice looking card, let's be honest. Gen 1 cards are always fun and nice to get, and I think I do have that card from Gen 1. Balls. My mic just hit the side. Vivid Voltage is up next. We can look and hope for the big chunky Pikachu, as everyone does. If I got that guy, I'm going to be pretty happy. It means that this pack opening, not a total dud. But that's the issues with celebrations. You only get four cards in a pack. So the look of getting the chance, I should say, of getting something good in a celebration celebrations pack is very slim. There's your code for the Vivid Voltage. And, you know, it's always fun to open them, though, because they are worth quite a lot. I'm going to guess a Water Energy. Dark, we don't see you too often. Uh, Trumbeak. Sableye. Doop. Bab, bab, conti. Bab, bab, mud, bray. Bab, bab. That guy. Yeah, yeah, wish, ma. That's me. Woohoo, bat. Also me in that pose. <laughs> we got for our reverse beauty. For our rare. <gasps> we got Zerud V. That's a nice ball. Good old Zerud V. Very guru. Guru? Guru. I'm adding that to my vocabulary now. Guru. I need to find a definition for it. Or see if there is a definition already. Probably a dictionary has it. Guru. G A R U E. Not as in G R E W. Eh. I'm now going to have to make up a definition of it. If there isn't one on thingy. Oh, hello. We haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I see something shiny. Uh, yep, good pull. There's your code. Lugia. Reshiram. Zekrom, that's a nice double pack of the Gen 5 legendaries. And for our rare... Professor's Research. Hello, full art Professor Oak. Nice to see you. Yeah, that is a nice card look. In terms of look, we've got two Professor Oak cards today as well. Oster Prof Professor Oak and Professor's Research. That's a nice double EO, down EO on the pools. So, last pack of the episode. What are we going to get? Eh. Eh. Anything good will make me happy. Code cards make me happy. Palkia does not make me happy, even though we're going into Gen 4. Zekrom does not make me happy. Lugia now does not make me happy. That was a dud pack. A dud pack to end out a good alright episode, I guess. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this celebration tin opening. Apologies for the noise, but we also have this in the box. If you enjoyed this, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new and dear if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. And that's the card I wanted. Peace out. <laughs>